welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Revelation chapter 14, where John described the special 144,000 people in heaven, three angels shouting warnings to people on earth, Jesus harvesting the souls of the righteous left on earth, and Jesus trampling the winepress of the wrath of God. In heaven, John saw a special group of people, a special choir. They had the Father's name on their foreheads. There was music in heaven, and this special group of people sang a new song to everyone who was around the throne. This special choir was comprised of people who remained virgins their whole lives, and God considered them blameless because of the blood of Jesus. No lie was found in their mouths. Then John wrote about three angels flying in midair above the earth. The first angel spoke. Every person on earth could see and hear this angel. The angel said, Fear God and give him glory, because the hour of his judgment has come. Worship him who made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and the fresh water. A second angel followed this one and started saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, which made the nations drink in her adultery and wickedness. A third angel then spoke right after the second and said, If anyone worships the beast in its image and receives its mark in their forehead or in their hand, they will suffer God's undiluted wrath. That person will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of Jesus and the angels. And the people who worship the beast and receive the mark will never have rest again, but will burn in the lake of fire forever. Then John heard a voice from heaven saying to him, Write this down, John. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. And John said he heard another voice and specifically explained the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, said it. The Holy Spirit said, Yes, they will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. John then said he looked another direction and saw Jesus sitting on a white cloud. He had a crown of gold on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. He was waiting for something. Some distance away, an angel was speaking to God the Father in the heavenly temple. Suddenly, the angel raced out from the Father's presence and out of the temple and went directly to Jesus. The angel joyfully yelled, The Father said it is finally time. Take your sickle and reap, because the time to reap has come. The harvest of the earth is ripe. So Jesus swung his sickle through the earth, and he harvested the souls of those people who were washed clean in the blood of the Lamb. Two other angels raced out from the presence of the Father in the temple. They had terror on their faces and knew it was finally time for incredible megadeth. One angel grabbed a sickle while the one in charge counted down the seconds when he needed to use it. He said, now it is time. Swing your sickle and gather the cluster of grapes because they are ripe. The angel swung his sickle and gathered all the wicked sinners into a great wine press. Jesus went over and trampled the wine press of the wrath of God, and there was an unspeakable amount of violence and blood in that place. The most important verses in this chapter are Revelation 14, 6 and 7, which state, And I saw another angel in the midst of heaven having the everlasting gospel to preach to them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that there are two distinct kinds of people in the world. One type of person is someone who places their faith in Jesus for salvation and worships the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That person will live in God's presence forever. The other type of person is someone who worships something else and rejects the message of Jesus Christ. That person will be tormented with fire and brimstone 
and will have no rest day or night forever. That person will also be tormented with the reminder that they actually chose their hellish circumstances themselves. Where are you going to choose to spend eternity? You really think that this is some sort of joke or game? This is a deadly serious game if it is a game. Wake out of your slumber and repent. God is waiting patiently for you to come to repentance and for you to place your faith in Jesus. But time is quickly running out. Repent for your sin and turn to Jesus for salvation before it's too late. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin. The Father raised Jesus from the dead and exalted him to the highest place. You can escape the nightmare. Ask Jesus for mercy, forgiveness, and salvation, and he will let you hide in him when judgment falls. Hey, thanks for watching Revelation chapter 14. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with these daily videos. See you next time.